Now it's time for the Mike Norvell TV Show, presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. From parts to helpful advice, AutoZone has everything you need to get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. Welcome in, everybody. 5-0. and oh. How does that sound? That's the way this football team is playing just the fifth time now in history this school has gotten to that mark. Coach, congratulations. And I guess the other thing is you showed, and I think we already knew this, but how mentally tough your team was. This was a back-and-forth game on the road in Monroe, Louisiana, a place the Tigers had never played before. It got down to six points with six and a half to go. Well, I mean, I thought our, our team showed a lot of fight, and we knew it would be a 60-minute game. I mean, that was the most one of the most experienced football teams we've played since I've been here. You know, on both sides of the ball, I think they've thrown, shown all through the season that they would respond in those type of situations um, you know obviously I don't like that we let them kind of back in the game uh, you know they're late but uh, you really saw the, the the grit of our guys and just continue to play uh, you know, saw some explosive plays there at the end and once again it really took all three phases to show up big to get the W. Well the, the defense actually struggled at times in this game but never totally broke they made the big plays down the stretch two fourth down stops and then the pick at the end. Yeah, and that was, that were critical. Those were all critical uh, possessions, and and every every one of those plays allowed us to be successful. Uh, you, that's why you have to play. That's why you have to keep playing. Sometimes some adversity shows up early. You've got to make sure you you stay focused on doing your job and uh, and do it till the end. And then there's Kenneth Gainwell. If you don't know, Kenneth wasn't going to play. weren't sure if he could go at all, and all he gets is 200 plus yards plus 45 uh, in the air, 250 total. And, and coach, he's the first freshman ever to have three consecutive 100 plus yard games. Not even D'Angelo Williams did that. Well, you know, I was really proud of Kenneth and the way that he prepared mentally for this game. There was a lot of work that he, did, he had to do with his rehab to get ready to, uh, for kickoff, but really the only day that he practiced was Friday. And, mm. uh, you know, to see him go out there and play at the level which he did, you know, it took him a little while to get started, but, uh, I mean, he did, a, he did a wonderful job and uh, a lot of credit to the offensive line and those guys uh, providing some opportunities, but, I mean, he definitely had a Great game. And your 31st win in 45 games, that's special as well. We got a busy show. Here's what's coming up on the Mike Norvell TV show. You'll see the recap of this game. If you like a lot of offensive big plays, you're going to love these highlights, especially at the end. Chick fil A Inside Access has to do with the student athlete and academics. And then the road ahead, and it is tough. Again on the road in Philly. All that coming your way in just a minute. Don't go anywhere. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Welcome back in. First time ever in Monroe, Louisiana for the University of Memphis. Just the fourth time these two teams are playing and you were very leery of this team because there were so many fifth year seniors on it. Eight grad students. Yeah, no question. And you, you, you saw, especially on their offensive side of the ball, I think uh, you looked at their offensive line and it was four or five guys who were either seniors or juniors. And uh, you know, they, in every game that they, they had showed a response. They showed the a big play capability um, you know, with what they did. All started with the quarterback, the running back was a, was a really good football player. And uh, you know, I was glad we, we won the toss, uh, or I'm sorry, they won the toss, wanted to receive. We went out there and got a quick three and out, which was a big, uh, uh, a big stop for us. We wanted to set the tempo of the game early. And then starting off uh, with our first drive was, was obviously very important. Uh, and it was a good drive, and there is the starter for the first time, Colin Watkins, and he gets a little bit of yardage. This is the Mid-South Chevy Dealers drive of the game, and it set the tone. They don't go three and out very often. You did that. That's Antonio Gibson, who's really become a versatile star for you. Look at that pass to who else? Coxy. Yeah, it was a great start. I mean, that was something that we talked to our guys about all week. We wanted to get off to a fast start. We wanted to be efficient in that first drive, and uh, that was really textbook. I thought our guys were, were uh, did a wonderful job there. You know, defensively, the thing that showed up that I was really disappointed is, is the missed tackles, the missed opportunities. Uh, this drive, I think, ended up being a 16-play drive. Good thing we stopped them to a field goal, but it was, uh, you know, they, we, we, we allowed a, a lot of extra plays there due to missed tackles, due to a couple missed opportunities, and then uh, getting the ball back 
back offensively. It's good to see, like I said, Kenny Gainwell coming in. Really nice blocking there up front. Uh, uh, you know, you saw uh, Dustin Woodard and uh, you know uh, uh, Cameron Wilson who came in and really got his first uh, uh, extensive action. I thought he did a nice job at, there at tight end. Um, you know, obviously weren't able to, to uh, convert on a third down. That's something we're going to have to improve on. We're not very good at that yesterday offensively. Uh, but uh, you know, obviously our guys they came out. I liked I liked seeing our guys fly around. Big third down stop there, uh, being able to uh, get the offense back on the field. And here's a chance to really get some big yardage and Joey fighting for as much as he can get. Yeah, I thought Brady started the game really well. You know, this was a, um, yeah, that was a big pa pass play, big chunk play here on a third down. Uh, we got in our heavy package. Uh, you know, Brady actually got tripped up on the way back for the exchange, but uh, got the ball to Kenny Gainwell and Kenny did the rest. They had to review that, but he did. He tossed that as he was falling. That was a beautiful play. Their quarterback, Caleb Evans, is really, really good. They've got weapons all over the place. They're not going to just sit down and die here. No, and I mean, you know, this is, as we talked about it there uh, all through the week. I mean, very elusive runner. Um, you know, they did a good job with with the, their attack schematically, but, you know, we had guys in, in, in position and in place and just missed some opportunities on tackles. Uh, here was a great play by Brady White. You went to a second option, pushing the ball down the field, got Calvin Austin, and then you know we talked about Cam Wilson. Uh, you showing up big, first career touchdown that? catch. Uh, you can see the excitement uh, that he had. And you say showing up big, he's six seven, two fifty. Uh, yeah, he's a he's, he's a great uh, he's, he's a great prospect. Looking forward to his future as a redshirt freshman. And then we came back. This is something we saw on film. We thought we had an opportunity to to steal a possession. You know, we talked about as coaches that we wanted to do it in the second quarter. Um, and then you know obviously being able to 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 steal a possession there. Um, you know, you know, you know uh, Trey uh, did a did a great job. Trey Brown Samuel did a great job getting the drive started, and then Kylan Watkins, who is uh, really coming along for us in the backfield, finishing with a uh, big touchdown run. What I love about this, it starts with a special teams play, it ends with a special teams play. Preston Brady? Yeah, he's the quarterback here. And it was uh, it was a great job by Preston. Some, something once again that uh, you know each week we go into a, uh, to a game plan. We want to attack. We want to be aggressive. Uh, so we, we were able to do that on two uh, highlighted by two special teams plays. Preston getting the ball in the end zone, and then you know their offense came back and responded. We knew that they would. Uh, that was something that uh, you know we, we, we obviously got to do a better job of, and then this is the critical mistakes we can't have. Um, great job by Brady scrambling, finding Joy Magnifico, putting on him, and then the um, you know obviously the fumble, something we can't have, and then but we once again a response and an answer. Scotty Dill, Scotty Dill, big offensive tackle goes in there and helps block a field goal there right before half. That that was terrific. So look at that, 150 yards on the ground, 189 through the air. The, they had that one turnover you saw. Uh, there was a little bit of everything. Your special teams was total, but the, the bottom one there would be concerning. 302 yards for ULF. Yeah, and that's something that showed up with, with a lot of missed tackles and missed opportunities. And, and you know, when we come out to play a game, you're, play, you're going to play against some talented players. And uh, we got to make sure we keep our eyes up, run through tackles. And, uh, you know, obviously our guys, that was something we addressed at halftime. And, um, you know, we had, to, we had to continue to keep playing and respond to. And we knew this would be a battle to the end. They came back on Florida State. They came back on Iowa State. What would they do here? Stick around. It'll be a happy ending. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. Welcome back in. So you have a lead. It's somewhat comfortable at the half, but we know ULM comes back on folks, and, and we know they're talented on offense. Your message to your team? Well, we had to, we had to clean up uh, you know, some of the mistakes we were making. You know, I still had too many penalties offensively. Obviously, had the turnover there uh, late when we had an opportunity to score points. We wanted to be aggressive. We need to come out, have a big drive. Uh, you'll hear, get points on the board. And I was really pleased with, uh, with, with how we started. Uh, Kenny Gainwell, great job of blocking by the tight end, the offensive line. Horse collar there too. Yeah, push the ball down, and then you know they they made a couple of adjustments at halftime as well. Uh, you hear created the TFL. Um, you know they you, know, you got to give credit to them, and then uh, you know they got us on the, on the twist game there on with with the uh, with the blitz. We've got to do a better job. Uh, you know, continuing to grow up front, continue to make sure we're all on the same page. But I tell you what, I thought this was a big time play. Riley, Riley uh, Patterson comes in, hits a 50 yard field goal, gets yeah. points on the board, the positive coming out of halftime. But then you know this is this is one of those things. You know you see. You, 
missed tackles showing up, allowing them to have some of the explosive plays. Um, you know, we've got to get that corrected, and uh, you know, I know our guys are going to work to do that. But just you know, way too much, uh, you know, after after the catch, uh, you know, way too much as they're working down the field. And uh, this time you are able to bottle up this guy. You know, both their backs, Johnson and and the quarterback Evans had over a hundred yards, and that's pretty amazing in its own right back but to work it was good to be able to hold him to a field goal there uh, but then we get the ball back offensively and I, I tell you this is just a great run uh, replay they do they actually played this very well um, Kenny Gainwell did a wonderful job there breaking the tackle and then this was a, a big time play in the game uh, Brady White uh, they, they were bringing pressure he checked he checked out of the play uh, you know got the one-on-one -on -one with Antonio Gibson and uh, did a wonderful job of executing talked about it all week about having an opportunity to hit that and uh, to see it to see it play out on game day was something that's pretty pretty uh, special. And you're using Gibson in so many ways. Kick returns, slot receiver, set uh, two setbacks. I mean, that was really terrific. But here you go. They and, don't give up. Yeah, that's a disappointing play. We had, uh, you know, it's too many times in the game. We had we had their guys in, uh, you know, really dead to rights on the play call. And I thought, uh, you know, we just have to do a better job playing with our eyes up. And uh, you, the quarterback got to give him credit. He made us miss and, and uh, you know, finish the play with a six, I think it was a 50, 60 yard touchdown. But, uh, you know, our guys, uh, you know, you got to come out and respond. This was this was something that you know, this period of the, of the game is where we had a little bit of a lull. You know, we had the three and out, uh, Offensively, you know, something that we can't do, uh, and they, they just continue to play. And we, like I said, we knew this was a talented group. Uh, it was good to see our guys continuing to, to, to work to get pressure. All right, uh, but then here, you know, they converted on some fourth downs. Um, you know, we ended up they were only they were five of fifteen on third downs, but then they were three of six on fourth down. So we got to we got to be able to make sure uh, that we're getting them off the field when we have an opportunity to. Uh, but uh, you, these guys competed, and then here's uh, here's a big stop there on the fourth down. All right, that and to be able to get the turnover on downs. They were three of their first three on fourth. When it really mattered, you shut the door, and that defense was terrific. But here is a mistake. And they're right back in this game. Yeah, very similar to the play that was right before halftime uh, with Brady with the scramble. Uh, we got to make sure we're working back to the quarterback there. Um, you know, you know it, the safety that was behind in the uh, in this in the uh, scramble drill uh, was able to jump up and get the interception. Um, you know, obviously, I thought that was one of the biggest series right here. Our defense comes out, gets a fourth down stop. Man, huge, huge job there of, uh, of not allowing points. And then, you know, uh, you know, obviously, we weren't able to convert on the third down. Uh, big, big flip of field position with a punt by Adam Williams. And, uh, but unfortunately, they were able to move the ball down and get the touchdown. And that is Josh Peterson. He is one heck of a tight end and the son of Doug Peterson, the head coach of Philly, but we got Kenny Gainwell. Do we need anything else? Well, I tell you, this is a really nice job by everybody involved. The offensive line did a great job, opened up a, opened up a great theme. Uh, that was the response. Got to a six-point game, our guys locked in. We had the explosive touchdown run, then come back the next the next set with the uh, the interception uh, there by Dre Thomas to really kind of put the game out of reach. We got one more possession. We're able to kneel, kneel it out there at the end uh, for the victory. Scary Andre Thomas, just his second year of playing defensive back, and look what he did and you'll like these numbers this was an offensive showdown no question about it over 1100 total yards by both teams yeah we knew we knew there was a there was a possibility of, of it being a game that could go back and forth and you know we were very aggressive in every in every phase um, you know our guys responded they responded at the end like like we talked about with the three uh, the three fourth down stops there defensively were critical at the end plus getting the interception um, but you know a lot of balance on offense I was pleased to see that I thought Jojo Dorsius you know shows up with the, t with the four TFLs one and a half yeah. sacks I thought he played really well got some got a look at fullback as well Kenny Gainwell and uh, Brady White were both uh, both remarkable in, in their performance. I'm going to put in Bryce Huff too. He had three quarterback hurries. He was all over the place as well. No doubt about it. So 5-0. and That's exactly where you want to be. Yeah, you know, it's, a, it's always a challenge to go on the road and to get, a, to get a victory on the road where you saw some adversity, you had to respond. Uh, that's another, another area where our team can learn and be able to build upon. And now we got a big test going back on the road uh, to Philly and Temple. We talk about that in just a second. But first, we got some inside access. How do you combine academics and athletics? We find out in just one minute.
You're watching the Mike Norvell TV show. It is tough being a college football player. Think about it. You got practice, then you got film study, you got weightlifting. Oh, by the way, you've got school. How do you combine all of these things? It's that point in your life where you have to understand that things, you know, you get away from home, you don't have, you know, I guess your mom and dad help you out each and every day with, you know, managing, taking you places. So in college, I mean, it's a different atmosphere. You're around college kids. Uh, coaches are pushing you each and every day. That's already difficult. So, you know, time management skills is, you know, something that they teach here. So they'll definitely learn it. Of course it's tough. It gets tough at times, but when you got a, a set schedule, you make a schedule for yourself. Um, uh, and that's really the, the, the easiest thing, time management. Uh, I mean, they teach you about that when you first get to college, managing your time, uh, prioritizing. You'll learn like a, a rhythm, you know, you just get in that zone and just knock out certain things when you know you have time, you know you have off time, you know, just, just getting in that rhythm. It's not difficult because it's something we've been thinking about since we got here. Um, you sign up here, you know what I'm saying? You sign here, um, coach gonna let you know um, you're a student first. You got to perform. Everything runs into each other. So, if you're a great student. It's a lot easier to be a great student in the um, in the mean rooms to be a better football player. So, I feel like everything connected. I just know that that one of my main priorities is, is graduating this university, and the only way I can do that is is excelling in the classroom, um, but also excelling on the field as well. So, I know I have to prioritize my time to get my homework done and get exams done and, and things like that. You know, we talk to, our, talk to our guys all the time about maximizing their potential. And it's not just on the football field. I want them to compete in the classroom just like they compete on the field. And that's probably the thing I've been most proud of through our time here is that, uh, that you're seeing guys performing to an elite level. We've had the highest team GPA in program history. Mm. That allows us to win games on Saturday because guys understand the importance of managing time, the details of what it takes, and then going out and performing at a high level. And really proud of our guys uh, in what they're doing in the classroom. Every one of these guys with tremendous focus. It is really fun to watch. We take a break. When we come back, it is time for the AutoZone Road Ahead. It will be tough. Temple is really good, and this one will be in Philly. watching the Mike Norvell TV show. The AutoZone road ahead, simple. You get in an airplane on Friday, fly to Philly, take care of business because it's another early game, which Memphis is in terrific at. And that's for sure. Lincoln Financial Field, it's 11 a.m. in the morning. And Temple, ladies and gentlemen, is really good. They've flirted with top 25 votes. They've beaten Georgia Tech. They killed Maryland. Got tripped up at Buffalo. Coach, how good are they? Uh, this is a really good football team, and uh, they've done a great job here at the early early part of the season. Um, you know, I think when you look at their offensive line, defensive front, uh, a couple of the better teams that you'll see in the country. Uh, they've uh, they played at a very high level. Uh, got some explosive uh, playmakers on the perimeter. Isaiah Wright uh, was a conference player of the year in special teams last year. Great great receiver, uh, some big backs that can really make you pay. Um, so it's going to be a great week, great week for us and, and one that we need to prepare at an elite level because we're going to have our hands full come Saturday. Mm. Going to be a lot of fun. Get up early again or join us in Philadelphia for sure. Join us back right here next Sunday night. Have a great week, everybody. Thanks for watching the Mike Norvell TV show presented by AutoZone, official sponsor of Tiger Athletics. Visit them at AutoZone.com and start the job fast with free same-day store pickup and next-day delivery. Get in the zone. AutoZone. The show is supported by the Tennessee Lottery, Subway, and Chick-fil-A. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College. Under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Memphis, the use of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of Memphis and Learfield IMG College. The preceding has been a Learfield IMG College presentation of the Tiger Sports Network.